Hello and welcome to this Nolan Business Solutions introduction to eRequest video. So first of all, what is eRequest? In a nutshell, it's probably the most functional and widely used web-based procurement software specifically written to work with Microsoft Dynamics GP. What does it cover? This slide here gives a pretty good indication of the scope of the process from raising a requisition right through to invoice approval and payment that eRequest covers. In this video, this is a quick introduction to raising and approving a new purchase, uh, but there will be subsequent videos uh, which you can look at for receiving goods and invoice approvals and actually looking at the commitment accounting process, which uh, so many people are looking to achieve. So let's take a look. So here I am at a browser, I'm using Chrome in this instance, and I'm going to log in as a user who's a requisitioner, who is imaginatively called Rec1. Now in most live implementations, people's login comes from their Active Directory setup. However, in this video, I'm going to be logging in as two different users, so I'm using a separate login screen. So range of options that this requester can do around the left hand side but I'm going to focus here and this particular user has access to four specific purchasing forms or purchasing types. Uh, the great thing about the setup of these purchasing types is you can have completely different uh, security, approval rules, approval limits for each type. So in this instance I'm going to raise a purchasing request for marketing takes me to the header but I'll go straight to the line items and the system already knows it's a marketing request so it's only showing me marketing type items. So in this case I'll order some web development work to zap up the website a little bit. I can put in lots of extra text in here if I want to. Um, I can select the supplier. Now the default supplier has come from the setup in the system but if I've got the right security I can pick any other supplier but I'll happy to let the system guide me through and tell me who the right supplier is. Let's say I want 10 hours of work performing. They charge us £65 per hour. Calculates the VAT, put in a expected required date and expected date. I can also type in comments which will be reflected in the purchase order if I so want. So keeping it quick and rushing through the process here that's given me the basic information and could now add further line items if I wanted to. In this case I can't approve it myself but I'm going to submit it for approval and the system knows that for this type of expenditure, for this type of value, it has to be submitted to manager 1 who's the marketing manager. So marketing manager, manager 1 will actually get an email and in fact the facilities exist to approve from the email but I'll log in as manager one and so show what uh, the marketing manager can see. So if the marketing manager just goes to the inbox, you can see that particular request is sitting there waiting for approval. Double click on it, you can see all the information in there. Go to the line item, you could, if you've got the right authority again, you could add more text into the narrative, you could change the supplier, the GL account code that it's automatically been coded to. But in this case, I'll say I'm happy with it and I will approve. OK. Now, in this instance, we've got the system set up because I might want to merge multiple POs together that approving that requisition hasn't created the purchase request. Uh, sorry, hasn't created the purchase order. So now I'll create the purchase order. I could do it for multiple purchase requests in one go. If I just say transfer to purchase order, it's created as a purchase order within GP and it'll be purchase order number 2089. But I can see what it looks like, print it out from here, you know, email it straight onto the supplier if I want. So that was just a really quick overview of raising a requisition, getting it approved, and taking it to the stage of raising a purchase order. If you'd like to look at other parts of the process or understand more behind the detail of how that's all set up, by all means contact us any of the following ways. Many thanks for your time.